Pisces Moon. Welcome Pisces Moon. Thank you so much for joining me here in beautiful Sydney, Australia. Oh, I'm so tired. It's the end of my day. I always come to you tired, don't I? Um, I love being here. Look at this beautiful place where we're sitting. It's absolutely gorgeous. Did I say this is Balmoral Beach, Sydney? If I didn't, I'm saying it again. Look at me, I'm delirious already. I've arrived into the heady atmosphere of Pisces Moon. Um, this is just lovely here. I love this place. I used to come here in my 20s and hang out here with my friends and just have a really good time. Um, I've got a lot of good memories in this place and it's, it's one of the best parts of Sydney, Australia. Over the coming months, we will explore more Sydney, Australia. I'll take you to some interesting spaces and places. But right now, before the sun completely diminishes and I lose light altogether, I'm going to take you through your reading. We are going to take a look at two things in particular. We're going to take a look at the past and we're going to take a look at the future. That is the big story that's going on this time. So now future, what's going on? Mars and Rahu are sharing Gemini, 7th May 2019 to 22nd June 2019. That's happening in your fourth house. So this is a time to take it easy with family. If you can take it easy, that would be good. Um, when you're with your family, don't be in a rush go slow you know you there's big energy happening here in the fourth house so yeah you got a lot of big energy in the house of home so you might want to channel that energy into home repairs or physical work or if there's a section of your house that you know maybe you need to rip out the floorboards and put new ones in that's certainly something I need to do um, maybe you'll have the energy to do that you know there's those projects that you've been putting off um, maybe you want to take some of that big Mars Rahu energy and channel it into that, right? Uh, when you're with your family, here's something. I mean, harmony with the family, that's going to be really important. You're going to really want to achieve some harmony with the family. So be the one who, who yields. Be the one who is water. Others might be fire, you be water, okay? Take the dog for a walk if you have to. If things are getting hectic, take the dog for a walk. Do some exercise. Maybe you want to go for a long drive. Maybe you just need to get away. So that is my advice to you when it comes to being at home. Look after your health. Look after your mother's health too. Okay? Aim for peace. Be the peaceful warrior. Right? Mars Rahu. Peaceful warrior. That's what we want to aim for. Now what is the past that you've got to deal with? Okay, so we've got Jupiter retrograding in Scorpio till 8 July 2019. That's happening in your ninth house. So this is a great time to grow your career. Um, you could channel extra energy from Mars Rahu into your career, okay, through this. Uh, you can do this because Jupiter is in Mars' house of Scorpio. Yeah, this is cool. This is good. I'm loving this, Pisces Moon. You'll be covering old ground in terms of career. Perhaps you'll be working with clients or team members you worked with in the past. Okay, that's another thing. So whatever was happening Jan, Feb, March, and that's in relation to your ninth house of, say for example, well, career or spirituality, but Jan, Feb, March, whatever was happening in those months that have just gone by, that could be repeating again coming up. So look out for that coming up, right? Now next door to the Jupiter retrograde, we've got the continuation of Saturn K through conjunction. So that's bringing a heavy past energy to all of us. That's a lot of past going on there. But I've got the note here, through old things, new light is coming through. So look out for new illumination in your career or work life. Okay. The other thing I've been saying to all the signs is that if you've got a lot of past energy and you're heavy in the past energy, you're feeling stuck or things aren't moving, build the future. Put your energy into the future. Put your free will energy into the future and start creating tomorrow. Even if it's just writing a to-do list, even if it's just taking a photo or putting it on Instagram or some small thing, carve some time out, create the future. Those of us who are creating the future are going to be fine over the next few months. I've got that message come through quite strongly to me. Basically, if you invest yourself in the future, and that's what I'm doing, because I've got a lot of heavy past energy that I'm dealing with, and I'm putting my energies into the future and building that, and that's making all the difference. So. Pisces Moon, I want to thank you so much for stopping by. I've had an absolute ball doing this in this fantastic location. I hope the light isn't too dim. I hope you can still see me. But well, next time, maybe I'll start with you next time, Pisces Moon. Maybe I'll run it the other way. 
so that Aries Moon can get the uh, tired and rushed version of me. But anyway, I want to thank you so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, I thought I'd share with you this beautiful scene. So I was sitting just over there on those rocks and this is the whole scene. Isn't it stunning?